We are cooking with uh, Dina Cimarelli from the Bakery baking. Boutique. Oh, I did it again. We're not. Well, Courtney said, what are you cooking today? And I was just oh, working okay. off that. All I know right. you're not a cook. You're a baker. Baker. What are you baking today? I am baking apricot rugelash today. Okay, and what goes into that? Because it sounds very, uh, it, it sounds healthy. It Well, it kind of is, the apricot, but you know, you throw in the sugar and the cream cheese and, <laughs> and, the, and the cinnamon and everything else. But it is, it is a traditional um, Hanukkah dessert. That oh, that's I right. Can Today's tell you. first day of Hanukkah. It is. So that's why we're doing that in spirit of. Um, but we have, you know, basics, brown sugar, flour, some unsalted butter. We have cream cheese. We're going to use some raisins and some chopped up walnuts. And then we have our apricot preserve for the filling. Okay, now what, without seeing it, and you see the ingredients, like, what does it look like when it's done? It kind of looks like, you know, you take some gel and you fill it, almost like you're making a calzone. Oh, then, okay. But what we do is we cut it in triangles, so when we roll it, you can kind of see the exposed filling and the gel. kind of oh, looks okay. like a little crescent roll. Yes, And yes. then we just glaze the top with some cinnamon and sugar, and it's really yummy. It will be really yummy. It will be. We're going to be baking, baking in the kitchen this morning <laughs> with the Bakery Boutique. You can find this recipe online at foxprovidence.com. Oh, Dina, telling me all about our, our dish today that we're making for our, our Jewish friends who are going to be kicking off the Hanukkah holiday season today. Mazel yes, exactly. <laughs> and this is a uh, traditional dessert, right? It is. It is. It, and I'm not going to lie, what I was just telling you, yeah. I don't know a lot about traditional Hanukkah desserts. Yeah. In Italian, we make biscotti. It's right. about as good as it gets with me. But I did, and I did some research, and I found out that rugelash, mm -hmm. and we're doing apricot, is a popular dessert, rouge yeah. in general, so and it's easy to do. Okay. And anybody can do it. So all right, let's I'm put it together. I'm gonna start with the dough, and then I'm gonna have you make the filling. Okay. So, um, you want me to start mixing this together while you do that? Yeah. What I have is just walnuts. I've already kind of coated that mm -hmm. in cinnamon for you. Yeah. And then you're gonna put. I'm sure you can recognize the rest of the yeah. ingredients. You get a little uh, brown sugar, salt. Some I mean, um, salt. <laughs> no, no. Regular no. sugar. Some sugar. Yep. And I'm just making my dough. It's gonna have some cream cheese. It's gonna have butter, just sugar and flour. And then we're going to mix this for a little while though, and when we're done mixing it, what we need to do is actually roll it up in a bowl. We okay. need to cover it tight in saran wrap like a good cookie dough, mm -hmm. and we're going to let it set up in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. We need it to be kind of, you know, a little bit more rigid when we roll it out, because right now it's just going to be too soft and tacky. All right. So for people who want to try to make this at home, or maybe for a friend who, you know, is celebrating Hanukkah, would yeah. you say moderate skill level for this? What oh, do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. This okay. is really, I mean, in the end, the dough is going to look just like you go and get Pillsbury dough. Okay. And you roll it out. And Could I? Could I? No. Don't substitute. No, I don't think you can. All right. No, because I think that's too flaky. I don't think it'll roll right. Okay, you I need a little bit drier, yeah, denser. You, you okay. do. I, I don't think that one will work right. Okay. Um, but anybody can do it. And I actually brought a variation. I've done some chocolate and some walnut raisin. You can really fill it with anything. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of have two others to show, but we're doing apricot here today. All right. So we're going to get this rolled up with Dina. Patrick's going to join me in the kitchen in just a minute. Now back to you. Oh, welcome back in the Rocho Kitchen. We got lots of love in the kitchen today. We're making a wonderful dish for the uh, Hanukkah season to share yeah. with your family. That's lovey. And also lovey, lovey, look who's look that. At my look at lovey. All right, look at lovey. There he is right there. So last week, our next great baker, yep. Ryan's team, won the wedding cake challenge. And uh -huh. they did. They got a feature in January's Brides Magazine. So awesome. That is great. Well, look at like that cake, star. too. Gorgeous. Star. Yes. Love it. Okay, oh. moving on from the love to the actual recipe. To the actual okay. recipe. So earlier, I made the dough while you mm -hmm. were making the filling. Okay. All right. So, and then once you get it, it really, it was just one big piece, and mm -hmm. I kind of just quarter it. Yep. And I just take one quarter out at a time. This okay. is pretty much how big it should be. After you make the dough, though, you should let it sit up in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. Because you do want it to be firm. And then once you roll it out, you want to spread the apricot. And this is just apricot preserves. Mm-hmm. Right, and you just want to spit. You don't want to get it too close to the edge. You want to leave maybe about a quarter inch border yeah. to the edge. And then once we um, spread this on there. That's a lot. Is that one? This is one. Well, no, 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 no. She's going to probably 12. cut it into a couple. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's a giant rugelash. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I see the size of them. They're like little rolls, Patrick. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're uh, going to cut it and keep like slicing it, okay. like quartering it. Okay, okay. Believe me. You, you don't Can have to you? both yell at me. Oh my <laughs> Well, just we just think that would be a giant Hanukkah rugelash, or whatever we call it. it. Yeah. Well, All right, no. so what's this? Sprinkle some of the filling on here, and then we're going to press it into the dough. Okay. That's there good. You go. Evenly. Oh. Not, not chunking it up and everywhere. <laughs> so, let me is spread not, it. Is that, oh, what's yeah, this? No, that's <laughs> what's all over this? <laughs> the greased pan all over your hand. <laughs> that's what the apron's for. It's really not just so you guys can look pretty. It's functional. Now, can I roll it? We'll slip what it do you yeah, what well, do we now, do? what you're going to okay. do is... This needs more right there. Cut it. We'll put some in there. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to mix and miss that. Okay, there Keep you go. Keep quartering it. But then once you do that, you want to press it in. Mm -hmm. So slice it. Okay. So like in fours. In fours. 
And if you have a, like a pizza roller, it's usually a little bit but easier. But easier, yeah. All right. Pack yeah. it through then like I did. And, okay. then, and then you want to do it again. Oh, like an, like an eight? Okay. Yeah. I think I know my math, right? Yeah, I think math. if I cut it again, it will be eight. Okay. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is starting from the bigger side, you're mm -hmm. just going to roll it. Okay. Everybody can roll, roll one. Just forward, yep, like, like that, this. like a little spiral. Just roll it. Just roll it. Look at like a little snow rolly. See? Aww. And the filling is going to come out the edges, and that's it is, okay, and right? You want it to. Okay. And then once you're done with it, what we're going to do is we just put it on my baking sheet that Patrick, mm -hmm. you know, stuck his hands in. <laughs> and then we're going to get a little bit golden brown, and by doing that, we just have an egg wash. Oh, you better do the egg wash. Because that gives it that golden color. Mm -hmm. this, this one is lacking in what good happened? stuff. I don't know. He's going to really fill that one up. That'll be yours, buddy, okay? So you want to just add the, um, the egg wash, mm -hmm. and then I've also just combined and gingerbread cookies. Gotcha. So when oh, does Dina go. and Lovey get a day off? Christmas um, Day itself? No, I cook for my family. Okay, it's okay. It's Monday. Get a day. We All get right. Monday, and then I actually decided to close Tuesday because I really need Good them. for you. As we get flour everywhere. <laughs> Take a break. You That's had a what busy they look year. like when they're finished. Look at that. How long do they go in the uh, oven for? 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, and no, they are it's perfect. It's 350. And we did, you can you can fill these with anything. Like you did. I did yep. chocolate, chocolate chips, yeah. And then the other ones were just like a walnut raisin. I mean, mm -hmm. you can put cranberry in there, which is really cool. Cranberry, a little bit of white chocolate for the holidays. Nice. So, okay. And you've had some, so. I did. Awesome. I had a chocolate chip one or two. Uh, one. And you sent Michelle in for I one, so Michelle I was another one I lost. And you're going to lose about three more. Well, listen, <laughs> Merry Christmas to the whole Merry crew. Happy Christmas. Hanukkah yes. to our friends who are watching and might be able to enjoy making this dish at home today as well. So, Absolutely. Dina, we'll see you again in the new year, right? We'll see you in the new year. All right. We'll be back. And good luck to hubby, too. Thank you. All right, Michelle, what's going on? What's cooking in the uh, weather center this morning? We've got a lot cooking in here.